Blessings bring happiness, peace, and prosperity in your life. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, was salatu was salamu ala Sayyidil Ambiya, Iwal Mursalin, and Mabarak. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله مدير السلام رضي الله عنه فيوز أوف مدني شانل Welcome back to our program, Hajj, the journey of a lifetime. And we're going to be talking about the blessings of Hajj and the blessings and the reward on the days of Hajj and also the reward for Muzdalifa, Mina, Arafat, so forth, inshallah, azawajal. So I hope you've been following me in the episodes before this, inshallah, azawajal. You've uh, watched all the episodes. If you haven't, don't worry. You can still download them from our Facebook page or watch them on YouTube. Inshallah Azawajal, today is the ninth episode. And Inshallah Azawajal, just one more episode left after this. And Inshallah Azawajal, we'll come to a conclusion. So today, Inshallah Azawajal, we're going to be talking about the reward for the deeds during the days of Hajj. Now, there is a lot of reward that a person has when he does Hajj walking. Ala Hazrat Imam Ali Sunnat radiallahu ta'ala and whose beautiful quote Amir Ali Sunnat has mentioned in his book Rafiqul Harabain. If you are going for Hajj, you, you made that intention or you are going for Umrah, then please make sure that you take this book with you, Rafiqul Harabain or Rafiqul Mu'atamirin if you're going for Umrah. Inshallah, it will not only guide you, but it will also be a beautiful partner for yourself as well. So Inshallah, the main thing is that we, we do our ibadat properly. Properly. You don't want to be doing anything and then making mistakes and, uh, and uh, you know, your ibadat not being fully uh, done properly or correct. So hopefully, inshallah, if you can watch this program till the end, you're going to learn about the, the barakat and the reward for the hajj as well. Hazrat Sayyiduna Zazan, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says that when Hazrat Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he became very ill and he got his sons together and he said to them that I have heard from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the one who walks from Makkah for Hajj, Allah Azza wa Jal will give that person 700 good deeds for every step that he takes until he comes back. And every deed is equivalent to the deed that is done in the Haram as well. And they said that, you know, he was asked that what is the deed for Haram? How much is the deed? And Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he says that the deed of haram is one deed is equivalent to 100,000. So if you do get the opportunity, try to walk as much as you can when you, whenever you go for hajj as well. I know nowadays, you know, hajj is in the summertime. It's a very, very hot day. And, you know, alhamdulillah, azawajal, it's a test for, from Allah. Azawajal. But if you think of it, the people before us, you know, people used to walk for hajj. People used to walk for months and weeks until they would reach to the holy lands nowadays we sit in our plane you know comfortable seats when we go to sleep we wake up it's jiddah we get up from jiddah sharif and we go in a bus you know you know air conditioned bus we go to mecca into our hotels air conditioned we go into the masjid air conditioned everything is so easy for us but we still lack to walk so many people you know, they, they, they're still lacking, they can't even walk. So for that, my dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madani channel, if you ever have the opportunity to go for Hajj, then I would request you, and Amir al Sunnah mentions that as well, that we should try to walk before we even go there, rather than going there and getting there and, you know, and thinking to yourself, what am I going to do? I have to walk this much. Make that habit at home. Try to walk barefooted at home. Even try to walk barefooted. 
you know, on tiles or on, on, on solid ground, because that's what it is. If you walk barefooted at home and you've got a carpet, it's nowhere compared to when you're walking on tiles. It's a different kind of environment there. So please try to do this. And if you get the opportunity, try to walk as much because of every step that you will take, Allah Ta'ala will reward you with 700 good deeds. Saat so nekiyam. Hazrat Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he reports another hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says that Hazrat Sayyiduna Adam ala nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu wa salam, he performed hajj 1000 times, ek hazar martaba and every time he would go walking. So alhamdulillah azza wa jal, we also find that our uh, forefather, our father Adam alayhi salatu was salam used to walk for hajj as well. Now during hajj you do umrah as well. Now what is the reward for umrah? Hazrat Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reports that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said from one umrah to the other umrah it's expiation for your sins. Now alhamdulillah azawajal another very uh, famous hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again Hazrat Sayyiduna Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he is a reporter and he says that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said ke Allah ki rahm ka ghazi haji aur umrah karne wala Allah ke mehman hai that they are all the guests of Allah Azza wa Jal. Jab Allah Ta'ala unhe bulata hai, to wo labbeik kehte hai. Or jab wo usse kuch maangte hai, to Allah Ta'ala unhe ata faramata hai. They are the guests of Allah. Whenever they want something, Allah Azza wa Jal will gift them, will reward them with that as well. Now what is the reward for doing uh, Umrah in Ramadan al-Mubarak? I'll just mention uh, a few blessed hadiths of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he reports that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, the one who does Umrah in Ramadan al-Mubarak, it is like he has done Hajj or he has done Hajj with me. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, such a reward in the month of Ramadan. May Allah Ta'ala take us all in the month of Ramadan to perform Umrah. And may Allah Azza wa Jal accept our ibadat. And Subhanallah, another uh, riwayat it says that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says that the one who makes the intention to go for Hajj, Allah Azza wa Jal will guide that person, will help that person. Alhamdulillah, Azza wa Jal, Allah Ta'ala will guide and help the person who will do Hajj or Umrah. Subhanallah. Hazrat Sayyiduna Abu Taliq radiallahu ta'ala anhu farmate Mene aqa alayhi salatu wa salam ki khidmat mein az kiya Which actions should we do that is equivalent to doing hajj with you ya Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he replied to do umrah in the month of Ramadan Who wants to do hajj with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Everyone, alhamdulillah So uh, the reward is that if someone does umrah in the month of Ramadan it is as if he has done Hajj with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now I briefly mentioned the other day as well that someone who leaves for Hajj and he passes away, what the reward will be. Allah Azza wa Jal has given that person such a high reward. Now Azadi Ummul Mu'mineen, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, she reports from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the one who leaves his home for Hajj or for Umrah and he dies on the way, Allah Azza wa Jal will not ask any questions. There will be no accountability. Or usse kaha jayega ke ja jannat mein daakhil ho ja. Go enter the gardens of paradise. Subhanallah. Such a reward for someone. Which other place in the world can you mention to me? Which other place can you say that if you go to so and so country, if you do go to so and so holiday and you die on the way, you become a martyr or there will be no hisab, you know, you're going to go straight to paradise. Nowhere, koi nahi hai. This is Hajj and Umrah. To pyare Islam bhaiyo, apna zehn banai, make your mind. Yeah, if you want to go on holiday, go to Hajj, go to Umrah. Umrah Hajj kare. Take your family with you, you can afford that. Now, when you spend in the times of Hajj, when you are in Mina, in Arafat, in Makkatul Mukarramah, in Muzdalifa, yeah, whatever money you spend, jitna bhi maal kharch karenge, Allah Ta'ala, 
Inshallah, how much will Allah reward you? Hazrat Sayyiduna Burada radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he reports that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, the one who, who spends during the days of Hajj is like someone who, who, who spends when he is in the way of Allah azza wa jal. Uska sawab kya hai? Saat so guna ziyada milta hai sawab. 700 times more reward when a person is traveling for Hajj. So alhamdulillah azza wa jal, you know, Hajjis should be, mashallah azza wa jal, you know, it should be bring a smile to your face and all that money that you spend, you know, helping your Rafiqs, helping your friends, feeding the poor, feeding your, your, the, the, your Rafiqs, those people who traveled with you, and even feeding your own self, you get 700 times more reward when you are in uh, 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 the, during the Hajj time, and especially when you are in the Haram as well. And, yeah, and then, if Allah Ta'ala wills, He can increase that many folds. Hazrat Sayyiduna Burada radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Hajj ke doran kharch karne ka sawab, rai khuda azza wa jal mein kharch karne ki tarah hai. Yani spending during the time of Hajj is like spending in the way of Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, you will be rewarded according to the amount of money you spend and you'll be rewarded according to how much effort you made. You know, the banda jab thak jata hai na, so mashallah, so haji, so many you see, mashallah, you know, in their late 70s, 80s, even 90s as well. And you know, they do in Umrah, even our young lads as well. You know, the heart is so happy when you, de- when you see these guys, mashallah, they're on Umrah, alhamdulillah, they're going for hajj. And sometimes they're tired, you know, they can't walk, you know, they've got blisters. And you know, the jasbah that you see there is amazing. You know, we had, mashallah, Zawajal, so many youngsters, uh, we, we were in a group and uh, two or three Islamic brothers, they were there constantly, mashallah, not mi- missing any tawaf. They would do about five, six tawafs every single day. And then at the last day when we were about to move to Medina Park, they had blisters on their feet. They were bleeding from their feet. They had massive blisters, but they were not bothered. Why? Because the blisters will go away one day. That pain will go away one day, but the reward and the maza will stay with you all your life. Subhanallah. Very, very good to see people like that, mashallah. Sometimes people say, Oh, ho, chairs are pawn lagi gya, das is our pawn lagi gya. Whatever. The kya hoga, Allah will give you that money back, inshallah. Hazrat Sayyiduna Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He reports from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Hajj or Umrah karne wala Allah ke mehman hai. They are the, the guests of Allah azza wa jal, the ones who do Hajj and Umrah. Or agar kuch suwal kare, to unhe ata kiya jata hai. Whenever they ask anything from Allah azza wa jal, Allah ta'ala gives to them. Or agar dua kare, kubool ki jayegi. Whenever they make a dua, Allah azza wa jal will accept that dua. Or ek dirham kharch kare, to unhe uska badla ek dirham ke das laak ki surat mein diya jata hai. Subhanallah. Hazrat Shu'ayb radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he reports from his father, he says that I heard the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, Hajj aur Umrah karne wale Allah ke mehman hai, agar suwal kare unhe ata kiya jayega. The ones who do Hajj and Umrah are the guests of Allah. Whenever they ask from Allah azza wa jal, they will be given. Or agar dua kare to kubool ki jayegi. Whenever they make a dua, it will be accepted. Whenever they spend something, Allah will reward them. Subhanallah. What is the reward for talbiya? Hum padhte na, labbaik Allah. Let's all read it together. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak. Those who have been on hajj, repeat it together. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك سبحان الله it reminds you of that time when you're walking through the tunnels and you are echoing these beautiful words when you are walking through the streets of Mina and Muz- Alhamdulillah and these words are echoing everywhere you get into your tents these words are echoing you go to the Jamarats these words will be echoing سبحان الله عز وجل
Hazrat Sayyiduna Sahal bin Sa'ad radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he reports from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam jab koi shakhs talbiya padhta hai to uske daayein baayein dono taraf zameen ki intiha tak maujood darakht aur patthar aur matti uske sath talbiya padhte hain Hazrat Sayyiduna Jabir radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he narrates from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam jo muhrim yani the one who was ihram remember muhrim ihram you know when you are in the in the halat of ihram jab koi muhrim din ki ibtida se ghurub e aftaq tab talbiya padhta hai that when a muhrim from the rise of the sun from the beginning of the day until the end of the day suraj ghurub hote waqt uske guna ko saath le jata hai when the sun will set he will take his sins with him aur wo shakhs gunahon se aisa paak ho jata hai jaisa us din tha jis din uski maa ne use jana tha yani he will be pure and free from sins the day he was born from his mother's womb Subhanallah when someone he does the tawaf what is the reward Hazrat Sayyiduna Ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma narrates from the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam Baitullah ke gird tawaf karna namaz hi hai lekin tum usme kalam kar sakte ho lihaza jo tawaf ke dauran guftagu karna chahe to wo achhi baat hi kahe so just like a person when he is offering his salah that is a, you know, a very afzal ibadat in the same way doing tawaf is ibadat as well but in this ibadat you can also talk so always talk about good things and subhanallah i can remember this young lad mashallah i think it was from the uh, from america and i saw this young lad doing tawaf in front of me and you know you try to make this halat kafiyat banda banata hai na ki when you're doing the tawaf because you're going around you know this beautiful building such a great building and this young lad that i saw he was doing the tawaf and he was constantly crying bar bar wo ro raha hai and every time he was making dua ya allah forgive my sins ya allah forgive my sins ya allah i didn't do it purposely in it ya allah you know it's like a street language but subhanallah that guy made me cry as well and that's what you call true ibadat hazrat sayyiduna ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma he says jisne 50 martaba baitullah ka tawaf kiya wo apne gunahon se aisa paak hoga jaisa us din tha jab uski maa ne use jana tha sayyiduna umar umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he says why is it that i only see you that you kiss the hajr e aswad an rukn e yamani and he says maine rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko farmate hue suna in dono ruknu ka istilam karna gunahon ko mita deta hai kissing hajr e aswad and rukn e yamani will inshallah azza wa jal forgive your sins will destroy all your sins now rukn e yamani amir al sunnat writes in rafiqul haramain as well that rukn e yamani if you get the opportunity you should kiss the corner of rukn e yamani my dear islam brothers and viewers of matani channel we've heard about the blessings of these beautiful days we've heard about the mashallah so the blessings of doing hajj walking towards hajj the blessing of offering your salah doing the tawaf around the kaaba may allah taala take us all there may allah taala give us all the opportunity to perform hajj and umrah again and again in our lives inshallah azza wa jal if you still have not watched the previous episodes please make sure you watch them and inshallah azza wa jal our next episode will be about the beautiful city of madina so until next time inshallah azza wa jal keep watching madani channel sallu ala al habib صلى الله تعالى على محمد دسيد الاضحى دسيد الاضحى دسيد الاضحى دسيد الاضحى may allah's blessings bring happiness peace and prosperity in your life eid mubarak eid mubarak Eid Mubarak Eid Mubarak